Welcome back to JSA TV, everyone, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders across the digital infrastructure industry, live from the expo floor of Yada 2024 in Las Vegas. Right now, we've got Allison Bone join, joining us, and you're with Data Novax and Alcatex. Thank you so much for stopping absolutely, by. Absolutely, absolutely. So you have had a really busy time here. We're going to get into right. that in just a moment. But before we do, uh, I want to talk a little bit about Data Novax. And yeah. just for, for people who may not be aware, um, who is Data Novax and just what's the latest there? Yeah, absolutely. Pioneer Park uh, in Wichita Falls, Texas. Uh, very exciting. Um, we, of course, are in the, the we're, we're in the, the, the middle of the, you know, the moving forward stage now, so exciting, more to come. We've we've had to kind of keep a few things kind of on the down low, but it's going to be really exciting when we start to, to really get everything power related. Power is king, as they say, right? So that's what we're excited about. And, and uh, yeah, great, great, great area, great location, lots of innovation happening in Wichita Falls, lots of really great stuff. You know, you hear everything through the grapevine, and so we hear it all. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, well, we look forward to hearing yeah. more yeah. as more becomes available and more starts yeah. happening there. But speaking of lots of innovation taking yeah. place, you had a really neat opportunity. You yeah. just got to be a judge um, earlier <laughs> this week here at Yada on, yeah. on sort of a data center shark tank at the Innovate Arena. Yes, so, um, and that was more specifically for the Cool It mm -hmm. division. Mm -hmm. So tell us about that and what were some of the neat things that you saw? That was so awesome. It was so fun, first of all. Who doesn't love Shark Tank, right? But, uh, you know, get out there and, and I'll tell you what, what guts it took for all of those, um, you know, different cooling type of solutions to get up there and, and lay out their, you know, their business plan in seven minutes, right? And to know that they were not only being judged by our panel of judges, and I was on with Moises Levy, and he's he's kind of hard. He's hardcore, right? Mm -hmm. I'm the softie in the group. But, <laughs> but, and then the audience was also, like, grading them as well. So, all so much amazing innovation and uh, applaud to all of them that were, but I just, I was so honored to be asked to do that. So uh, great stuff. <laughs> what were some of the things that really caught your eye? If you yeah. can give us any hints and what were you looking for maybe? So uh, some, some really unique things, actually some, some uh, interesting different, you know, layouts. And, and I got some great feedback on that too. And they really to, to applaud Yada, they said, what a great way to digest seven minutes. You got seven minutes to give us your, you know, to give us your spiel. And uh, they all just per excelled and performed so excellently. But, you know, obviously for me, I'm a huge liquid and immersion cooling fan. And that's my, my genre for a lot of things and very strong in that, in that space, right? It was, it was a lot of conversation needlessly, uh, need, needfully, needfully, that we're going to have to explore some type of liquid cooling technology for, for everything AI. So, yeah. <laughs> you are also here, you're wearing many hats here, yeah, as, as you're saying, you're also <laughs> here and you're spending some time in the Liquid Cooling Coalition Pavilion. Right. Talk to us a little bit about that. They have a really great mission going they on do. and how are you helping with them? Yeah, they are so amazing. I met them a year ago uh, at the OCP conference um, and Erica and Tom and Tom, the team uh, with C2O Efficient, they literally have the ear of Washington for um, really the next generation of an AI data center and what it's going to look like for sustainability. And so yesterday we had the ARPA E funding group up there. We had Uptime Institute. Intel, Supermicro, Lord, the list goes on. And then they were able as well to give uh, us a little preview of what is going on in Washington regarding AI. And so Liquid Cooling Coalition's mission is to say for water usage, for power usage, we really need adoption of liquid to take some seriousness in the Washington environment. And they're listening. So it's good work to be doing yeah, and absolutely and the industry yeah. definitely benefits from the advocacy. Absolutely. I agree. <laughs> yeah. So just kind of a blanket question here. We're at Yada. One mm -hmm. of the big things that we've been talking about here with lots of folks and, yeah. and lots of panelists is artificial intelligence oh. and very broadly, what is AI's role in the future of mm -hmm. this industry? So, you know, one thing caught my, my ear yesterday in one of the keynotes and they, and the gentleman said, um, I think he's like with the Washington Post or something. And he said, AI does not care where it lives. And that really caught my ear. And so, which kind of then bleeds into the data Novax messaging, which, you know, we, we, we have 
called it in the past, you know, two tier locations, right? Um, but, it, you know, it's Virginia and Dallas being number one and two, and, and Virginia is getting really tapped out and, and, and emotionally tapped out by the locals too. So the fact that different areas that have availability and some really great power, you know, sustainable power availability is where AI is going to live. And I just love that statement. Like I wrote it down to myself. Remember this, you know, AI doesn't care where it lives. And so for Wichita Falls and the Pioneer Park, that's a great message too. I, I heard that and it resonated with me and I'm, I'm sure it resonates with a lot of people. So, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing yeah, your insights absolutely. here with us. Absolutely. Thanks so, for having me always. <laughs> you're welcome. Much more to come here from yeah. the expo floor of Yada 2024. So thanks again to Allison with Data Novax. And thanks to our viewers for tuning in. Stay curious and stay connected, everyone.